How's it going everyone? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and today guys we're going to a brand new video talking to you guys regarding about the brand new PlayStation 4. That is right guys, Sony announced today that a brand new PS4 is coming to the scenes and uh, you know, it's not your usual brand new console, it's simply a brand new model number which you know not many people really know about but uh, you guys wanted to make me a video and you're like Matt can you please make us a video talking about the brand new PS4 and I thought why not guys I thoroughly enjoy making all this console news for you guys now the new PS4 guys is basically a brand new chip so it's called a new model number so the current PlayStation 4 which you know if you've got a PS4 right now it's most like this model number and it's called the CUH-1000 which is the Stock PlayStation 4, which you picked up from launch day, nothing's really changed. Now, um, this brand new PS4, well, there was a PS4, I would say, like the Ultimate Edition, which came out, which was the one terabyte edition, and it did make a slight few changes there, but it wasn't really a big enough update for them to go, whoa, guys, this is a brand new model number. So the brand new model number is called the CUH-12000, which is like, oh, my, 12000, the 1200, Matt, so it's the 1200, basically. And, uh, you know, this model is, you know, pretty noticeable if you were to compare your friends to this brand new PlayStation 4. And what I'm going to be doing, guys, is going through all the new features. There's not really many new features. However, there are some noticeable features. And why you might want to upgrade or wait until this console is available to play, especially within your region. So, uh, the CUH1200 is the model number. And I remember on the PS3, guys, we used to have the CECH, so check as the model numbers and um, every so often especially on the PS3 side I remember the yellow light of death was a big issue when it came into play and Sony took action by uh, you know upgrading their parts within the system and therefore having more model numbers you know trying to decrease the chances of you guys getting the yellow light of death which was rather annoying I had a yellow light of death once playing Fallout 3 and it wasn't the best because I almost completed the game but no yellow light of death appeared but anyway so, well, this brand new PS4, guys, is starting to arrive in the UK today. So, if you go into a retailer today, there's a chance you might get the old model number, and there's a chance you might get the new model number. If you guys do want to get the new model number, I would probably wait a month or so, because, um, you know, they probably want to clear all the old stock and stuff like that, unless you actually request, guys, for the brand new model. So, what is different? Well, so the new version, the new model, the CUH-1200, has a few new changes to the systems. So firstly, guys, the gloss panel. So the gloss panel on the current PS4 is on the left-hand side, very nice indeed, and on the right is a matte finish. And on the new model, the uh, the gloss finish has disappeared. They've made it all matte, so it's 100% matte. And I know there's going to be mixed reviews on that because some people like the gloss because it looks fancy and some people prefer the matte finish. And the good thing about having the matte finish is that it's going to be less dust and hardly any scratches, which I suppose is pretty good. Because I remember on my PS3 on my 60 gig model, there was a lot of dust on that system and a lot of scratches as well, especially from like people wiping their hands and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, I don't know who would wipe their hands on a console, but you know, when people dust the system, uh, you know, scratches do appear. So I do like the matte finish. And by the end of the day, guys, I mean, where my consoles are right now, they're on a shelf, right? And it was, I only ever look at my consoles when I'm cleaning up and putting a new game in. So I don't think it's really a b big deal for me, but maybe for you guys, you might have it in a nice fancy case or something like that. But um, also what is new, it's Sony have updated this smart button, so the smart buttons are also known as you know, the power and the eject buttons. And uh, previously, guys, the buttons were touch sensitive, so you literally put your hand over, you turn on, you, you know, and you can eject your games. However, the buttons are now more physical, so um, the buttons come out slightly, so the depth of the button, I think it's like one millimeter, so it's slightly noticeable, and so you know where the buttons are. And the buttons are now click. So um, when you do press click, like it literally like you click to turn on, you click to turn off, and you know you click to eject as well. So it's not like how it used to be, where you just you know a nice touch sensitive is actually you know you, you now click. So a click noise will be produced once pressed. Which, to be honest, guys, I prefer the sleek design of me touching it. However, I do like buttons, especially when my cat likes to walk by and maybe like eject the disc, which is rather annoying sometimes. So. Um, a click, of a, a click of a button is always, you know, preferable in my opinion. Now, the LED light strip, which you know, the light guys, which, you know, you, you can tell when your console's turned on, right? So, it's been made smaller. When I say it means made smaller, the length of the, of the LED strip's been made smaller, and it's now a shorter strip. However, 
because the light is the same light, it's going to be more powerful because it doesn't actually have to fill up the whole entire strip. So uh, it's going to be a brighter light, which is very good indeed. Now on the back, guys, it's probably not, you know, too noticeable. But the Ethernet HDMI on the, on the auxiliary ports have all been swapped around. Maybe it's easier, maybe for better space, maybe for better, you know, for a better energy efficiency, but they've moved the ports around at the back. Now, moving on to the inside of the PS4, so that was the outside, guys. That is basically what is new on the outside. Now, on the inside, maybe for you guys who are, you know, tech guys like me, so on the PS4, right, it's got 8 gigs of, D of GDR, DDR5 RAM, which is very good indeed. And however, it's using 16 modules of 512 RAM, which is not really the best, right? I mean, you know, we could use one 8 gig strip, but actually that's quite expensive. So PlayStation and Sony have now upgraded. So instead of us having 16 512 RAM sticks, we now have eight clusters of one gig RAM, which is obviously a preferable option, but that means you're only having eight strips rather than 16. And that gives us more space in the console. It improves the energy efficiency because it means we're only charging up eight strips rather than 16, which is very good indeed. Now, the 500 gig hard drive has been replaced with a thicker Samsung spin point drive. Now, there hasn't really been a reason why they've gone for this drive. May have been to decrease the noise as well as, you know, increase the efficiency of the less power consumption, which I suppose is a good thing, right? And at the end of the day, guys, you're not really too bothered what's inside the console. As long as it works, you're pretty happy, right? Uh, the PS4 power supply unit is now smaller within the system. It's now being replaced with a lighter and lower output model, hence why the energy efficient and the less power consumption is now, you know, better. Uh, also, the weight of the console, guys, has been decreased by 300 grams. So the console now only weighs 2.5 kilos. So if you guys were using your PS4 as weights for going to the gym, unfortunately, you might lose some gains because the console is now 300 grams less. And finally, guys, some big news. The noise has been reduced by 10 decimals. There was a video, guys, in the links, guys, down below if you guys do want to check out the video. But basically, um, we did a test, and on the previous PS4, it was around 62.4 decibels. And on the new PS4, on the brand new chip with the CUH-1200, has now have about 51. So it's about a 10 to 11 decibel difference, which is, you know, pretty good indeed. So there we have it, guys. Will you guys be upgrading to the brand new PS4? I definitely might pick it up, just do an unboxing for you guys, show you guys the difference and stuff like that. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below on all wonderful jazz. But as always, guys, I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Adios, ciao.